my Barbadian family. So I am doing this video to talk about my chickens. So I had 1,900 chickens. I lost 1,200 from the 1,900. Um, the first 600 there were okay. The death rate, the mortality rate on those were okay. But then later down, I start to loss 60, roughly 60 to 70 chickens per day. Now, the floor was a dirt floor. It was dry. The dirt was always dry. We never had a wet floor. We took five of the dead chickens to the vet. They say it's likely to be the toxins in the feed. We contacted the feed company. They told us to send in some information. We did. Everything they asked for I sent in. And still no compensation. There's one employee that works for the company that have been replying to me. But he's not a supervisor, he's not a manager, so it's nothing that he can do. We have invested over $20,000 into these chickens. When it comes to rent for the chicken pen, when it comes to feed, when it comes to the cost of the chickens. I don't know where to turn. I don't know who to talk to. I know there are other farmers out there that are experiencing the same thing that I have experienced. Still experiencing it. This is the report that I have received. This is a report that I received from the vet. These are the pictures of the chickens that were dying. Now these chickens were decaying from the inside out before they died. So the day before we go there, we was realized that the stomachs on these chickens were blue or like greenish. So we took some videos and then some had like some kind of thing on the wing. Like a sore on the wing. As I said, the chickens before those were good. I don't know if we had a batch of feed that wasn't good, but the chickens just start to die out in, I mean, in big numbers every day. Eventually we lost 1,200 chickens. Right now, things are not easy. Things are hard for us. Um, we just don't know where to turn. I have another business where I do seasonings, but Really and truly that I really cannot hold us up right now because we have to go back to the drawing board with that business because the bottles have gone up for the seasoning. Bottles have gone up for, because I also do the vanilla. Real vanilla beans I do. I do the vanilla extract, vanilla paste, vanilla sugar. But the price of all the bottles per case have gone up. I mean like near $10, $15 per case. Things are really hard. And it's, it's not only me. I have heard so much, many of my friends complaining as well. But I, um, I guess I, I actually find the courage to come on social media and talk about this. Because this is not me. I don't normally come on social media and talk about these things. But things are not easy. Things are very, very, very hard for us right now. I just want to know who can I speak to. Who can I speak to when it comes to the feed? Please give me a call if I haven't reached out to the right person. My number is 840-9378. Or email me jtshealthyfoods at gmail.com. But I have five kids. I have to provide bus fare every day for them to go to school because I cannot depend on the transport board either. It's just one thing to the next. You can't depend on the transport board. 
when it comes to school buses. Sometimes my son goes up by the bus stop. They leave home because we live in St. Philip. They leave home between 6 and 6.20 to get the 6.30 bus. Sometimes they stay at the bus stop to 7 o'clock. Still no transport board. They have to pay to catch your van. And then when they get down in town, if the bus don't come, they have to catch another van. So that is $5. On their way back home, if they don't get the school bus or if they don't get the bay fee bus, that's another $5. So that's $10 per day for three children that have to leave home every day. So that's $30. And mind you, $30 is just the bus fare. Sometimes they do get the bus. Yes, sometimes they do get the bus. So they can buy something to eat or they'll have to take lunch. Or some days I have to give each of them $20 if we don't have lunch to give them. This is real. And it is so frustrating. I need somebody to call me to let me know what to do from here when it comes to the, the chickens that I have lost. There's no else to turn. I am working. I always do what I have to do when it comes to working. I work very hard. I put all of my energy into my products, into my poultry farming. I mean, we really try. Me and my husband, we try. We, we, we don't only try, we do it. But it is frustrating. Things are hard in Barbados. I know a lot of you can sympathize with me because I have heard about a, a lot of other farmers that have lost a lot, a, a lot of chickens. But please share this video. Hopefully it gets into the right hand and I can be compensated for my chickens. But as I said, I have invested about $20,000 into my chickens and nothing. Right now, I, I, things are so hard because obviously we hope that we had get back these chickens so we can sell the chickens and make back that money and we could keep turning it over and do more chickens. Right now we have a hundred chickens in the pen. I'm going to show you a video with that. Those are good. But do have a good day. Always have faith. I still have faith. Still have hope. But work without faith is dead. So I, I know putting in this kind of work on social media to find out what is going on in Barbados. What do we do from here? What do we do from here? What What is there to do? So please share this video. Please share this video. And have a good day. This is the third load of chickens. Wait, let me see that belly. We father doesn't see that belly. I don't want to 